Hi friends. Welcome to a new learning video on Pharma Guideline. Today we will understand the Pareto chart and its usages in pharmaceuticals. In the dynamic landscape of pharmaceutical manufacturing and quality control, identifying and addressing the root causes of issues is essential to ensure product quality, compliance, and patient safety. Root cause analysis is a powerful technique that helps uncover the underlying factors contributing to a problem. Among the various tools available, the Pareto chart emerges as a valuable asset for prioritizing and focusing efforts on the most significant root causes. The Pareto chart, also known as the 80-20 rule, is a visual representation of data that allows us to identify the most significant factors contributing to a problem. It follows the Pareto principle, which states that roughly 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. The chart combines a bar graph and a line graph to display data in descending order of frequency, helping to prioritize efforts for maximum impact. Let's go through the steps of using a Pareto chart for root cause analysis in the pharmaceutical industry, with an example related to a manufacturing error. Step 1. Define the problem. Clearly define the manufacturing error that you want to analyze using the Pareto chart. For example, let's consider the problem of tablet weight variation during the manufacturing process. Step 2. Gather data. Collect data related to tablet weight variation, such as batch records, quality control data, or any other relevant sources. Ensure that the data covers a significant number of batches and provides a comprehensive overview of the issue. Step 3. Categorize the causes. Identify the potential root causes of tablet weight variation. Possible categories could include raw materials, equipment, human factors, process parameters, and environmental conditions. These categories represent the main areas where the causes of manufacturing error may lie. Step 4. Quantify the occurrences. Analyze the data and determine the number of occurrences or instances associated with each cause within the defined categories. For example, you might find that raw material issues were found responsible for weight variation two times, human factors were found 12 times, equipment problems were found six times, and process parameters were found responsible 20 times. Step 5. Rank the causes. Rank the category based on their frequency or occurrence. For example, within the process parameter category, mixing time, compression force, and tablet press speed might be the causes. In this example, the process parameter ranks first with its frequency of 20, and human error ranks second with a frequency of 12. Rank all four categories as per their frequencies. Step 6. Calculate cumulative percentage. Calculate the cumulative percentage of occurrences for each cause by adding up the percentages as you move down the list. This helps visualize the cumulative contribution of each cause to the overall problem. Start with the highest frequency cause and continue until reaching 100%. Step 7. Create the Pareto chart. Construct the Pareto chart by plotting the causes on the x-axis and their respective frequencies on the primary y-axis. Draw vertical bars for each cause, with the height of each bar representing its frequency. Add a line graph on the secondary y-axis to depict the cumulative percentage. Now, draw a line from 80% cumulative percentage to the line graph as shown with the orange line in the chart, and check the causes outside the rectangle created. Step 8. Analyze the chart. Analyze the Pareto chart to identify the vital few causes that contribute to the majority of tablet weight variation. Focus on the causes that represent a significant portion of the occurrences, as they will have the most impact on addressing the problem. In this example, tablet press speed and compression force might emerge as the most critical causes. Step 9. Investigate root causes. Further, investigate the identified vital few causes to determine their root causes. Conduct a detailed analysis, including inspections, batch records, and equipment evaluations, to uncover the underlying factors contributing to each cause. For example, variation in tablet press speed may be due to parameters written in match manufacturing records. Step 10. Develop Action Plan. Based on the root cause analysis, develop an action plan to address the identified root causes. Implement corrective actions targeting these causes, such as cross-checking parameters by a QA person, optimizing equipment settings, or enhancing operator training on blending techniques. Ensure that the actions are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, that is smart in short. Step 11. Monitor and Evaluate. 
implement the action plan and closely monitor its effectiveness. Continuously assess the impact by tracking tablet weight variation rates, conducting in-process checks, and performing quality control tests. Evaluate the progress and make adjustments as necessary to ensure sustained improvement in manufacturing quality. By following these 11 steps, you can effectively utilize the Pareto chart for root cause analysis of manufacturing errors. It enables you to identify and address the most critical causes contributing to the problem, leading to targeted interventions and improved product quality and consistency. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thanks for watching this video.